Welcome back guys, Discount Tools here. Hoping you guys had a great Memorial Day. Just picked up a new trailer, 6x12. Do a little walk around here, you can see. It's a little seven pin connector. Emergency brake line, just in case the trailer comes off. Two inch drop. Has a nice little uh, handle here. We'll go all the way down so I don't need a little kind of block here to uh, keep the trailer up. If you guys want to know what this trailer is, give me it's the Outback DXL by Pace American.com. Let me see if I can get this back here. Do a little trailer walk around. Has a nice uh, chrome fenders. V neck, neck V neck, V nose, as you can see, has vents. Open her up too. Take a look inside. They do. This has the assist too on it. Also has a board that comes out. Make it lower the gate. Go right inside. I'm about 5'9", so this is probably a six foot um, high uh, connector. Has a light, but I guess the car has to be on. Unless there's a battery. Could be wrong. Oh, there we go, I'm sorry, you got the switch here, you can turn it on and off from up here, or from the switch down here, don't have the keys now on me, but here's the door, you can see, opens her up, Opener from the inside, it looks like. Lock her up. Has the vents. A little battery in here. I believe that's the, uh, I think the guy that said that was for the, um, for a little battery backup, just in case, uh, for the, uh, what was it, the uh, emergency brake, basically. It basically has a, the little line, I'll show you real quick. Really cool. Out here, if the trailer comes unhitched, this will yank this out and automatically put my brake lights on just in case I have to so I can slow down, pull over and people behind me know that there's an emergency. So basically the hazards. As you can see all LED lights, very nice. I'm going to take a look underneath because we'll go back inside. And also has the easy assist up here. So, I'm going to pull this up be able to uh, actually drive. I won't have to uh, on the uh, ramp. I mean, sorry about the camera work. I'm, I've got a thousand things going on on my head right now. But with the camera, I'm gonna get a ramp. Pull it up. These uh, springs right here will make it easier for it, uh, me to close without having to hump this up. Saves your time on the back. Has a. Oops, sorry about that. I don't think you can see, but there's black hinges right here for the door. There's lights everywhere. Third brake light. I mean, even on over here, we got little LEDs all over the place. So this thing will light up at nighttime. So it's pretty cool. 
And uh, that's that's my little new six by twelve trailer. They can probably do some uh, videos on um, me putting up some equipment on here, uh, some racks. Got those coming from from a equipment defender. That way I don't have to worry about if somebody get does get in here. Um, someone won't be able to take my stuff off. So it's pretty cool. Very excited. Got another surprise on Tuesday coming. I'm looking forward to that. The oh, and if you want to know, spare tires are not included. That is an extra about 150. Ow, that was my head. <laughs> Still a little short in here. Spare tire is an extra 150, but you know what? Peace of mind right there. Don't have to worry about if I am going to need it or not or get stuck somewhere. But yeah, that's a little thing. Two tires, electric brakes. Awesome. It's, I mean, I drove it around today so far and it's pretty smooth. I'm a little bouncy. Um, the only thing I got told by the guys, uh, got this at, a, if you're around Long Island, uh, by County Trailers, great uh, associates there, very knowledgeable. Just told me to get a six inch drop because um, this actually, um, we had to lift this up a little bit just to get it in onto the bowl and lock it in. So, other than that, I'm doing good. Um, let me just look underneath. Uh, the only thing I've heard. I think it was from Brian's Lawn Maintenance I saw, um, was to check underneath um, for support, uh, since we're a little higher on this side, to do that. Oh, that's, I thought I had a scratch, but it looks like it's from sealant. Look underneath. Yeah, we got support beams, it looks like, all over the place, and undercoating. So that's what it looks like underneath the trailer. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good, I would say. Maybe if they had a little extra bracing down the middle over here. But it's about every, what, a uh, foot and a half, maybe two feet. You have support bracing, so. And there's the axles right there. You do have leaf springs on both sides. Very cool. So, very excited, and manufactured with the guidelines of NATM, National Association of Trailer Manufacturers. Also, if you guys don't know, these have easy lube uh, hubs, so I can just put a, I believe a I forgot what, but the attachment right here and just lube up the hubs. Just gotta look into that. I might be I might be wrong about that, but other than that guys, this thing is awesome. I mean this is a little chintzy, I would say that. I mean it looks tough, but um and it makes the trailer look nice with the uh, diamond plate. But you know, right now I can move it a little and I could see somebody try to put their foot up here. So I would just say keep your uh, keep your eyes out for employees or friends thinking like oh I could put my foot up here but see it's more of a decorative purpose but it's still cool and again another vent there's two vents in the trailer so all right guys I'll just wish you guys a happy Memorial Day I am very happy with this purchase and uh, we'll see you in the next one all right. Probably have some more videos this weekend since I've been extremely busy with uh, landscaping. I got another house to do and this is going to be my first time using this trailer and I'm looking forward to it. Alright guys, till then, I'll see you on the next time. Um, keep on trucking and as always, please give me a like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions about this trailer, maybe... Um, some other experiences with other trailers that you could help me with because this is my first one um or any ideas so till then keep on trucking guys peace